One rod, one reel, fishing all the time, never stopping, always casting, working it over time. Do a little transcoding on some footage right now to put out to you guys. Howdy fishing freaks, welcome to the vlog. And I hope you guys caught some big fish over the weekend. I am not fishing this weekend at all. Uh, fished with one rod, one reel uh, last week and we had an awesome little fishing streak, except for the last day. It was a little frustrating on the last day uh, under a time crunch, but make sure you uh, go watch the videos we've already put out on me and Mike's channel and make sure you stay tuned for more because there's more coming and it is good. Got a busy little day today because I've besides all the, the edits uh, also need to do some shooting, some product shooting for some, some websites. Uh, Stephanie is gone right now. She's at the, uh, she's at the store doing some store stuff. And once she gets back, we are... We're gonna go to uh, church, and then uh, we're gonna go get after the other uh, objectives. I don't know what the deal is with uh, me losing a lot of fish lately, big fish. Uh, I don't know if I'm not living right or something. When your soul's good, you fish good. Uh, that's that's proven science. If you've been paying attention to the videos, you would probably concur. I've just I've lost my mojo a little bit. I'm gonna get it back. Don't worry. Uh, but sometimes you just need that confidence booster. You got to get out to, you know, just a, a confidence booster lake or just have one of those days where you just catch them, you know, some three and four pound bass or go after something easy like white bass or I don't know, just slay some crappie, you know, hunting scenario. Uh, just, just go whack some does. Just, just get your confidence up a little bit so you're ready for those big moments. I've missed the big moments lately. So I'm going to prepare mentally. I'm also going to prepare physically. I've gotten out of shape. I'm not going to lie. I've been going hard, uh, doing a lot of things, and I've, I've, I'm slacking on the physicalness, uh, which also boosts confidence. Confidence is key when catching big fish, no question. In the next co uh, coming weeks, months, um, I'm going to need to go on some just confidence booster trips. So I'm hoping to take you along with me for one of those. Maybe go to an easy spot. You know, I don't do a whole lot of easy pond fishing. Uh, I'm talking like loaded, uh, manufactured pond type stuff. But every once in a while, you just got to get that confidence booster. Winston, guess what? It's mail time, bro. That's right. Amongst the other things, it is also time to open some of your mail. I haven't done that in a while. Got a little build up, so uh, we're going to open some of that and see what you guys sent in. Here we are. We find ourselves at the official mail opening table, I think is what we call this, because it seems like every time I just do a little sit down chat, it's right here in the kitchen where all the important talks go down. So got a little bit of mail. It looks like... Um, some letters, which is awesome. I like getting handwritten letters, guys, if you want to send them in. Um, check out the P.O. box in the description, um, and you can send that in here. And let's just dig right on into it. Uh, this is from Rick Perry. This is the governor of, of Texas, the, po the, the former governor of Texas. He's sending in some stuff here, you know, because he likes fishing. That's good. Sitting from the former governor of Texas, this is from a, uh, a gentleman in Kentucky. I'm not even sure if I should share this color with you guys because it's it's kind of a it's kind of a secret. Uh, he sent me some custom painted um, baits right here, and I gotta say I do actually like this color. This is a unique. Um, version of the color that I like. I, I, I like root beer color in the fall. Dang, treble hooks and plastic packaging. Never works out. This is a Norman crankbait. He is actually uh, painted this custom, got gold fleck on top, little uh, root beer green back, orange belly, chartreuse sides with a nice little shad dot there and some upgraded EWGs. This sucker's ready to go. I love digging these things into uh, rip wrap rocks. Um, this color just seems to work good in the fall. I don't know why. I actually won a, a tournament um, with two four pound smallmouth one time here in Texas 
on a square bill that was close to this color, but not quite. I like, I like this a little bit better actually, a little bit more natural. And I love that uh, fleck he puts on the back there. So this is just your, like your standard RC 1.5 root beer type color. I don't know what exactly he calls this. This is what he custom paints though. Oh, he actually says, I paint this color. I only throw this in the fall. So I agree. I don't know what it is. Guys, I'll just tell you, like, get yourself, uh, let's get this locked in here so you can see. You want to get yourself some of these in the fall. Um, I, I, I don't, again, I don't know what it is about the color, uh, but fish seem to just smoke this color in the fall. Um, it's just proven science. It's proven this guy knows it. He, uh, he paints a lot of these crankbaits this color for that reason. And I will concur. Not this exact color that he's got, but variations of it. All right, we got a letter here. Nice little letter. Wrote it in, it's in green print, just like uh, the color of a bass. I like that. It's from Dyson Wren. He's from up in the Pennsylvania area, Susquehanna River. Uh, I've actually got a buddy that, that does um, some fishing trips up there on the Susquehanna River, some guided trips. We'll want to get up there and fish sometime for those river smallies. He is, he's making a five inch spook in wood shop right now. So it's one of a, a, his favorite lures to fish. Also likes fishing black and blue jig. Definitely one of my favorites here. And he's very interested in the topwater lure, the snake that I did a uh, kind of an unboxing type deal on. And I still haven't done a video on, uh, I was going to get, I was going to try to throw that into a challenge that me and Mike were doing in a video It ended up not working out. Um, but I still need to do a video on that guys. So don't worry. Uh, it's in the works. I got those from, uh, LFT lures. So you can maybe check, check with them on their website. They're actually LFT lures is making the tail that goes onto the hard bait. So they're, they're connected somehow. Um, the Hissy Fit is the name of the lure, the snake lure. That's the only place I know to, to, to get it. I think LFT Lures is selling it. I'm not sure if they're selling it online, but you can check them out at lftlures.com, see if they've got, got them in. Um, that's the only place I know to get them right now, and I still need to go throw them. So I will be doing that, don't worry. But thank you for the letter, and I uh, hope you catch some big river smallies for me until I get up there. Looks like we got letter and some, some, maybe some buff type situations here. We got a letter here from, this is Elite Fishing. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a dude that has uh, gone ahead and created his own fishing team and channel. Uh, he's got a little logo there. You guys can see that. And get a nice little, little drawing on the back with a, looks like a nice, five to eight pound bass eating a Texas rig brush hog along some rocks right there. Very well done. And sent in a, a like two rag buff deal. There you go. We can throw, throw this in uh, old red and uh, save, save my neck from the sun. Next time I forget a buff, just keep that, keep that in old red. So uh, thank you Elite Fishing for sending in the letter and the who rag. A letter action nicely folded oh this is too cute uh, this is from Allie she said I'm in kindergarten and I enjoy your show I love your little marshmallow Winston oh we got to go get Winston Winston come here Allie wants to see the little marshmallow he's a little slow right now he just woke up come here come here come on here we are it's time you get to be in the, the mail unboxing. So Allie, say hi, say hi to Allie Winston. Well, he just kind of snorts. That's what he, that's, that's his way of saying hello. But he'll stay with us here for the rest of the, uh, the mail unboxing. And she also says that uh, she loves my, my sweet, my sweet wife. That would be Stephanie, the healthy chew. I love her too. And she's looking forward to more videos. Keep on catching them. Alley Temples, thank you so much from kindergarten. That's very impressive. Staying inside the lines, perfectly written and very thoughtful. So thank you very much, Allie. Appreciate all the handwritten letters. I know that takes time. I'm glad that uh, Winston, you can be so entertaining. I bet you didn't know that. Okay, got another letter here. You smell that? 
what is that? That's a that's a Yamasenko package right there. It says, dude, your videos have helped me so much, and they are awesome. I live in North Carolina, and uh, what you do helps me even up here in the mountains. You're probably one of the best fishing YouTubers out there, and uh, could you please sign the package of my favorite baits and send them back to me? Absolutely, and thank you so much uh, for the nice compliment. There's a lot of good fishing YouTubers out there, so I'm glad that you think that uh, I am at the top of the list, and uh, I will certainly sign this, get it back to you. That's awesome. Winston, you wanna give your official uh, stamp on it? Official snorts? Okay, last thing we got here. This is a book. Bass Fishing Fe Freaks Will Love, Stephen. Okay, this is called Sal Billy. I love that name. I like to catch Sal Billy's. The obsessive quest for the world record largemouth bass. Now, heck yeah, I am gonna tune in to that. That's what I'm all about, guys. Uh, thank you so much, Stephen, for sending this over. I will definitely uh, read this. My dad loves stuff like this too, so I'll probably pass that along to him when I get done with it. So that is awesome. And I gotta tell you guys, I don't wanna spill the beans too early, but in 2017, um, I'm gonna do something special on uh, the attempt to catch a, a double digit bass. Uh, what, it, what it takes, just the grind, and see if we can get that done, and I'm gonna film it in a special way. So. Uh, stay tuned for that, and this might get me just jacked up to go to go good. get some inspiration. Uh, this has been a great edition of Mail Time. Thank you guys so much for sending in all the handwritten letters, the products, the books, uh, the hoo rags, everything like that. Uh, and if you want to send in more, you know where to send it. Got it on the screen and in the description. And Winston, say thank you, and thank you being a, for being a part of this little Mail Time. And hey, Winston, what do you say, man? You say, if you want to check out more videos, you can check them out in the annotation links at the end of this video. So you can go click them now. You can actually do that on your mobile device. And make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos and awesome action here at the LFG channel. And thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see y'all next time.